Hello everyone. Today we use potatoes and eggs to make something delicious. I guess many people have never seen it, never eaten it either. First we prepare two potatoes and peel them. Clean after peeling. First make some cuts on the bottom of the potatoes. Then lay the potatoes flat and continue cutting. This way the potatoes will not slip when cutting them. First cut the potatoes into thick slices. Try to cut it as thinly and evenly as possible. Then change the knife and cut into thin strips. No need to cut too finely. Just cut it evenly. This way the taste will be better. A friend who is not good at knife skills. You can also use a grater to grate it into silk. After everything is cut, put it into a larger bowl. Cut the potatoes into shreds without washing them with water. Just add three eggs. Because potatoes have high starch content, we need to use starch to shape. Then use chopsticks to break up the eggs. Stir evenly. After mixing evenly, add a pinch of salt, a spoonful of chicken essence, add a little more pepper to taste, then use chopsticks to mix thoroughly, let the potato shreds taste. After stirring evenly, set aside and marinate for 5 minutes, make potato shreds taste better. Next prepare a tomato, make a cross cut on the top, then blanch the tomatoes with boiling water, wait for peeling, blanch for about 2 minutes and remove the skin from the tomatoes. After peeling. Cut off the roots of the tomatoes. Change the knife again. Cut into thin thick slices. About 0.5 centimeters is enough. No need to cut off the bottom. Then turn it around and cut into strips. No need to cut off the bottom. Finally cut it into small pieces. After everything is cut, put it into a bowl and set aside. Prepare a small piece of ginger. Cut into thin slices first. Then change the knife and cut into thin strips. Finally cut into minced ginger. After cutting, Place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare a handful of washed green onions. Chopped green onion. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare a small piece of green pepper and cut it into shreds. Then cut into small pieces. Prepare a small piece of red pepper. Cut into strips first. Finally cut the red pepper into dices. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Next prepare a small bowl. Add a spoonful of light soy sauce. A spoonful of oyster sauce. A little bit of dark soy sauce to color it. A little sugar for freshness. Finally add half a bowl of water and mix well. Mix well and set aside for later use. Next heat the pot. Add a little cooking oil. When the oil is slightly hot, pour in the eggs and potato shreds. Use a shovel to tidy it up again. Fry slowly over low heat. Just make it evenly thin and thick. Fry the bottom until it is set. Shake the pot gently again. This will heat evenly. Not easy to burn the bottom of the pot. After frying until set, we use a plate to turn it over. Fry both sides until golden brown. Fry slowly over medium-low heat throughout the process. After frying, take it out and put it into a bowl and set aside. Next add a little cooking oil to the pot. After the oil is hot, add the onion and ginger and stir-fry until fragrant. After sautéing, add the diced tomatoes. Stir-fry evenly. Sauté the tomato juice. After frying the soup, then pour in the prepared sauce. Then the fire burned. Mix evenly with a spatula. After stirring evenly, then add the fried potato egg pancakes. Push it gently with a shovel a few times. Let the potato cakes soak into the soup. Then cover the lid. Turn down to low heat and simmer for 3 minutes. The time is up. Let's open it and take a look. Wow! It smells so good. Then add the diced green and red peppers. Then cover it and simmer for about 1 minute. Okay. Time's up. Wow! This potato shredded egg pancake really gets more delicious the more you cook it. At this time we can turn off the heat and cook. Remove from pan and place on plate. Delicious and ready to serve. Finally, sprinkle some chopped green onion for garnishing. A very delicious potato egg pancake is ready. Potatoes and eggs go together like this. Nutritious and delicious. And he also absorbed enough tomato juice. It's really delicious. If you also like, hurry and collect it and give it a try. Hello everyone, when many people prepare dumpling fillings at home. Always dry, unappetizing, how to make it fresh and juicy, and the dishes are still not watery. Let's keep the secret of the dumpling restaurant secret today. Share with everyone, once you learn it, everyone will praise you as a great chef. First prepare a bowl of sauce, add a spoonful of salt, half a spoonful of chicken essence, half spoon MSG, add two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, about 20 grams, 3 spoons of light soy sauce, about 30 grams. Finally add 15 grams of oyster sauce to enhance the freshness and flavor. 
add half a spoonful of dumpling ingredients, add another pound of purified water, that is 500 grams, then mix them evenly with a spoon, let the seasoning dissolve, in this way, our ingredients and water are ready, set aside for later use, next, we prepare 2 pounds of pork filling, you should choose pork that is 30% fat and 70% lean, this kind of pork will not taste greasy, you can choose pork belly or front leg meat, then put the prepared sauce, pour the meat filling into it twice, pour half at a time, then use your hands to mix it evenly, let the pork filling completely absorb the water, absorb the flavor of the water, if it is pure lean meat, can absorb more water, if you add fat here, you won't be able to absorb as much, how much water is absorbed, it has a lot to do with the fatness of the meat, after absorbing all the water like this, then pour in all the remaining ingredients and water, we used 2 pounds of pork today, added a pound of ingredients water, then continue to mix evenly with your hands, stir this ingredient into the meat filling, don't stir it first, first, mix it evenly like this, I saw that there was basically no ingredient water in this basin, at this time, be sure to stir in one direction, this process takes about 5 minutes, the more you stir, the thicker the dumpling filling becomes, finally, it felt sticky and a bit sticky, this process takes about 5 minutes, the dumpling fillings prepared in this way will be fresh and juicy, in the end, the dumpling filling sticks to your hands and won't fall off, it means that it has been whipped vigorously, this way the dumpling filling will not become watery, set aside for later use, next we prepare some side dishes, prepare about a pound of celery, 2 pounds minced meat, just right with a pound of celery, first cut the celery into thin strips, otherwise, the cut celery particles will be a bit big, this celery must be washed in advance, then dry the water, minimize water content in side dishes, it's not easy to get out of the water, then cut the celery into small dices, after cutting, place into a larger bowl, next prepare 2 green onions, split the green onion with a knife, the green onions cut this way are thinner, after cutting, cut the green onions into chopped green onions, cut it and put it together with the celery, prepare a piece of peeled ginger, cut it into thick slices first, then change the knife and cut into shredded ginger, finally cut into minced ginger, cut it and put it together with the celery, then add 2 ounces of sesame oil into it, remember not to change other oil here, do not add light soy sauce and edible salt, otherwise, this celery will become watery very easily, many people don't understand, after adding salt, half a basin of water came out after wrapping it, add sesame oil to lock in the moisture of celery, and can increase the aroma and brightness of celery, mix well and let it sit for 5 minutes, this way the sesame oil can fully penetrate into the celery, lock in the moisture of celery, not easy to get out of water, after 5 minutes, pour the celery, onion and ginger into the meat filling, then continue to mix evenly with your hands, be gentle when mixing, don't use so much force, prevent the celery from catching water, just turn it gently with your hands, this is how we prepare the celery and pork stuffing, fresh and juicy taste, and no water will come out when you pack it, after stirring evenly, our celery and pork stuffing is ready, this meat filling can be used to make dumplings, you can make buns or wontons, the dumpling fillings prepared in this way are guaranteed to be fresh and juicy, fragrant but not greasy, if you also like, hurry and collect it and give it a try, I will update different food videos every day, follow me if you like my videos, thank you for your support.